it's hard to really pick out one thing that really stands out to me about my dad, but I have to say that there's been so many times that I've been really upset and he would always say to me, what did you learn from that? What did you learn from that? And that's my takeaway. I always think whenever something bad happens or I'm upset about something, I always think, what, what can I learn from that? Even though he used to say that when I was younger and it would irritate me, now it's such a, a fine piece of wisdom. I love you, Dad. Happy 80th birthday. You're the best father. Thank you so much for all of the vacations, the family time. You are fun. You play hard. You work hard. And I am honored to be your daughter. I love you. Happy birthday, Dad. I have so many great memories. It's hard to like pick and choose which ones, but I did think that there was a common theme in a lot of my memories growing up. It was like me trying to be the son that you never had. Like I would ask you to take me everywhere that a son would have gone, like duck hunting. You'd wake me up in the dark in the really, really early in the morning, get me all dressed up in some oversized, somebody's camouflaged coat and boots and leggings and we go out in the boat and go out to the duck blind it was you me and uncle brian probably some couple of your other friends too but we go out there and you would tell me step exactly where you stepped and there's a skinny board pathway going out to where these rusty old chairs were seated where i would sit down but i remember i had to step exactly where you were if i stepped off that board i knew i would go through the bog down to the bottom of mud lake and i'd never be found again so I was careful to follow your instructions. And I also remember you saying, it was a cue to me, when you'd say, Brian, 10 o'clock, three of them. Then I knew I had to quickly plug my ears and close my eyes, because something bad was gonna happen. I knew I hated it when the ducks would get killed and fall out of the sky. I just hated that part. But I still, I cherished being with you and Uncle Brian in your duck hunting experience, because every son would have done that. Then another experience that I remember so well is going fishing. I thought I could be a great fisherman and prove to you that I would be the son that caught the biggest fish. I'd go fishing with you guys. I remember one vacation out at Higgins Lake or Houghton Lake. It was me, you, and Uncle Brian again out in the boat. And um, this huge fish jumped next to us. And of course, in my mind, the fish was bigger than me and it almost tipped the boat over. And that was it. That was the last time. And I said, that's it. I'm not fishing anymore. That was the last time I went fishing as a kid. Of course, I got over that trauma. And um, it was a big fish, though. You'll have to admit, admit. So, but those are great memories. And you know what? And I grew up and I ended up, grew into a woman. And that was okay. And there, this woman knew that you never regretted having all daughters. You never regretted not having a son. And I love you for that. It's been wonderful. I love our memories together, and we're going to make some more, too. I love you, Dad. Happy birthday. Happy 80th birthday, Dad. For over 55 years now, I've been watching you and learning from you. Thank you for everything. You were the guy who taught me what to look for in a husband. Somebody who was not just handsome and athletic, but a good provider, a hard worker, and someone to give me that sense of security and you can't put a price on that. But you also taught me about generosity, not just with your money, which you're very generous with, but also with your time. And I've seen you give your time to civic organizations, Lions Club, Kiwanis, We Care, Soup Kitchen. And I've also seen you help out family members, relatives, people in need. You have a big heart and I love that about you. But you've also taught me something about family, that your family can be your friends. And all the time growing up when we would go up to the cottage and you bowled with your family, vacationed with them, golfed with them, we really learned to have fun and had built-in friends when we were with our family. And so all of our family traditions, you've taken just a step further, not, kicked it up a notch because you always added a new element to it. Like Thanksgiving wasn't just about eating, but our bowling time together, the egg hunts at Easter, you know, dressing up like Santa Claus at Christmas time. You just put the fun in all of our family functions. And I think that's what's made us all so close and kept us together. And as Mitch and I have watched this over the years, you know, that's something that we want to emulate and be like you 
because you have such a knack of making people feel loved and welcomed and included. And I love that about you. And so we're especially honored this weekend that we're gonna celebrate your 80th birthday here because we built this cottage hoping that everybody will get together and enjoy our times together. Just like you always would build the pool, buy the condo, buy the boat, take us on great vacations so that we could have fun family time together. So thank you for, for all your lessons and most importantly for your love and for your leadership and just for being the most incredible guy I know. Love you, Dad. Happy birthday. I don't have very many memories, but I'm just waiting for you to rock me and sing, Oh My Darling. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Dick. Remember this story? Hey, remember Trish the Dish? I'll refresh your memory. One Halloween party, or no, it was a New Year's Eve party that we went to at uh, Denny Penny's house. I had always heard about Trish the Dish. Well, as we're at the party, I am talking to some friends and you went to get us some drinks. Just then, this fantastic blonde comes in. Everybody turns to look and it's Trish the Dish. She walks by me and then walks by you, catches your eye, and she smiles. You smiled back and then you winked. <laughs> but then you saw me looking at you and you gave me the shittiest grin, a shrug of your shoulders and like, what was I to do? <laughs> I've always remembered such a guilty look on your face. I love you, dear. Bye-bye. <laughs> I want to wish you a happy birthday. I can't believe you're 80 already. The years have flown by. I want to thank you for all the love and support over the years. It's hard to think of one particular family memory that I could share with you that would sum everything Here, up. Here, honey, try this. Go what ahead, it? try it. What is it? I'll give you 50 cents if you eat it. Look at the ball, look at the ball, look at the ball, look at the ball. There are so many moments in time that I cherish with Dick. I had to write them down. Uh, just, there's so many. Goofing around with him and Brian are some of my earliest memories. Uh, playing pool in the early days. Uh, winning our flight at the member guest at Wakefield. Winning the Church League softball championship. Coaching Brady's baseball team that he really didn't care about and winning the championship in that. The whole bowling league. The countless family vacations. No, we can't ever thank you. But the ones that I cherish the most are, are you as Santa Claus. The joy that you brought the kids is just, was awesome. The joy that it brought you brought you everlasting happiness. I love your passion for life. Uh, you taught me how to be the perfect grandpa. I love you. Happy birthday. Favorite memory? Hmm. I think it's when you rocked me and patted my butt. Hey, Dick, this is your favorite nephew in law. I wanted to wish you a happy 80th birthday. Uh, I've had the privilege of being part of your life for uh, about 17 years of those 80. <laughs> and in all those time, you've been giving me golf tips, and my golf game still stinks. Uh, wish you a happy birthday, and I look forward to another 80 more. Bye. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Happy birthday, Papa. I'm so sorry I can't be there. I'm at work right now, so you all better feel very sorry for me because I could not get off, and I am miserable as you are watching this. Um, so you better feel sorry for me. I wish I was there. I wanted to be there so bad. Happy birthday, Papa. Um, I thought long and hard about my favorite memory with Papa and it has to be when we were little kids and he took all of us grandchildren fishing and he took us all to his friend's property and he had a little pond that was stocked with yellow bellies and I don't know how many dads were there but there weren't enough dads there to take off the fish to take the fish 
off the hooks because we were catching them so fast and none of us would touch the fish with our hands. So they were, the dads were in a real pickle with Papa and I knew, I was old enough to realize that they were in trouble and they needed to hurry up and start taking the fish off the hooks a little faster um, because there was a lot of yellow bellies flopping on the dock. And that was one of my favorite memories and it always will be and I think it's one of Papa's too. Um, and I'm wondering if any of the other grandchildren remember it like I do. But I love you guys. Happy birthday, Papa. Hey, Dick. Happy 80th birthday, you old fart. Uh, I can't wait till this weekend. It's going to be such a great time with all of your family celebrating this big, big event, uh, your 80th uh, birthday. You really are old. I can't believe that you're 80 years old. You know, I've known you for 39 years. I think about, I think I was 15 when I first uh, had the chance to uh, get that scowl on your face as I walked to the door to, uh, to meet you with Delene. Uh, I remember it well. Um, I also have some other great memories such as the, uh, the famous pool table event. Uh, I know this is a PG rated video so I'm not going to go into detail on that one. Uh, but um, thank you for everything. Um, I am so honored to have had the opportunity to be part of your family for so many years, um, to have a chance to, uh, to be with you and Diane and all of your extended family. Um, I have the utmost respect for your passion for life, passion for your family. Uh, you are um, a spectacularly wonderful giving man who uh, does so much for so many people, not just for your family, uh, but for others who have a fortunate opportunity to, uh, to get to know you and spend time with you. So uh, thank you. Uh, we love you. Happy 80th. Happy birthday, Papa. Happy birthday, Papa. I'm so excited that this weekend is finally here. Um, we've been waiting a while for this to finally get here, so I'm excited. Um, it's Sunday currently, so I'm going to be leaving in a couple of days to fly up to Oriental, and I cannot wait. It's going to be awesome. I hope everyone was able to keep their mouths closed and that it still <laughs> remained a surprise for you. Um, okay, so this is like my 40th recording, so I'm hoping to get it right this time, but we'll see. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, for your 80th birthday, I decided to look up a couple of things that happened on your actual birthday, um, October 2nd, 1936, and just found a couple of random but interesting things, so I thought I would share. Um, so first of all, did you remember that you were born on a Friday? You were. Um, some other things that happened that day, the first alcohol power plant was formed in Kansas. Um, secondly, Amsterdam's Calvinist church rejected Nazism. Cool. Um, and then thirdly, Tony Lazari became the first Yankee to hit a World Series Grand Slam. And he ended up helping um, the Yankees beat the Giants 18 to 4 that day. So, thought you would enjoy that baseball knowledge since you like um, baseball so much. Um, okay, then I looked up some quotes that I thought would be fitting, and I found two that I liked. Um, the first one, Mark Twain wrote, and he said, wrinkles should merely indicate where smiles have been. And I like that one, not saying that you have a lot of wrinkles, Papa, but um, just that I think that our family has been very blessed and that we have had a lot to smile about, and I hope that you can agree too. I know there have been times in your life that aren't always, um, where you have not always wanted to smile, but I think that you have had quite a life and have really... Um, used every moment of it um, to make it a good life. Um, and that's something to look up to. Um, then Pablo Picasso wrote that it takes a long time to grow young. And I like that because when I was thinking here that, okay, we're joining for Papa's, we're getting together for Papa's 80th birthday party. That made no sense to me because you do not act 80. Um, and so that's why I thought this was fitting. Um, you're always so much fun. We love hanging out with you. Um, anytime you're not there at some sort of family gathering, um, it's never the same. Um, so I just hope you know that, that we love hanging out with you. Um, and even all my friends, and I know other people can say this too, that my friends are always like, can your family adopt me? Because they look and they see how much fun we all have together and how much we love actually spending time together. And they want to be a part of it. And so I think that's really awesome and something that I think you and Grandma should be proud of for creating. Um, okay, so moving on from the quotes. Um, a couple of things that you've taught me throughout the years. Um, I think about golf 
teach me how to play golf, um, bowling. Um, I, my friends always think it's hilarious that I have my own bowling ball and shoes, and I say, yep, I go with my grandpa all the time <laughs> whenever I go and see him. Um, my, You gave me many trip tricks um, and tips um, on my baseball swing um, for softball. Um, you always helped me with my math homework, and so I was very fortunate that you were such a good mathematician and could help me with that. <laughs> um, I always remember every time coming to visit and you would always have some new magic trick that you would show us. Um, I remember you always dressing up as Santa Claus for Christmas and I love that you still do that for other families this, to this day. Um, I remember you always taking us to go laser, to play laser tag um, and forcing Taylor to watch over me since Drew is way too busy running after Austin since they were so competitive with each other. Um, so I just remember that doing those things, um, our Easter egg hunts where you would hide money in the Easter eggs and then we would get to go to Toys R Us and spend our money. Like that was, that was awesome. Um, so just really great memories. And of course, all of the vacations that you've taken us on, people twice my age have never been to some of the places that I've been fortunate enough to go to. And that's because of you. So Thank you for taking us on all of those awesome trips and for um, making all those memories for us that are going to last forever. Um, and then just another random thing I would always think about that it probably never meant anything to you, um, but I still just remember it is every time we knew that Grandma and Papa were coming to babysit us or um, just to visit, um, I always got really excited because we knew that we wouldn't have to be bus riders to school that, um, because you were always very adamant about taking Drew and I to school and then picking us up afterwards. And, um, that was just a really special thing for us. And we just got to sit and talk to you and catch up, um, especially back then when we didn't get to see all as much as we do now. Um, so yeah, those are just some things that I thought of that you've taught me and memories, um, fishing, Gosh, um, I'll probably think of many more once I'm done sending this, but as I said, I think this is like my 44th time video recording, so I'm trying to get it right. <laughs> um, so anyways, happy birthday, Papa. I love you, and I am so excited about this weekend. <laughs> Bye. I have to say that my favorite memory is when you take me in your really cool car, and we go to the bank, and I get a biscuit. Woof. I love you, Daddy! Hi, Uncle Dick. Happy birthday. I'm really excited that we get to spend this whole weekend with you, and I think it's fantastic. You broke my ship! Um, I'm very, very tired. I need to go. I didn't get my nap today. Happy birthday, Dick. I related this uh, to Delene about a week or so ago. Jim and I were never came from affectionate families. When Mitch became part of the Hummel family, we learned what to how easy it was to say I love you and to hug. Uh, I really feel part of the Hummel family, and I love you guys all very much. Have a great year and good health. God be with you. This is from Austin. Some of the best and most vivid memories I have of Papa are from when I was a boy learning to fish. As great and as memorable as they were, I am not referring to our trips to Canada or the times that we would have been deep sea fishing while on vacation. Instead, I am talking about the events that came before, which really instilled in me a love of fishing. I have vague memories of catching sunfish off a dock with a bright green Zebco rod and steel using canned corn as bait. I couldn't bait my own hook and I was afraid that the spines on the fins of the fish, so Papa would handle them for me. I also remember the first time that Papa took me to the Bass Expo at the State Fairgrounds, where a fisherman would stand over a tank full of bass and cast a lure and demonstrate his technique. I don't think I ever listened to what the speaker had to say. I was fixated on the fish and the flickering light from the spoons of the spinner as it moved through the water. Then, Papa bought a blue and white hurricane pontoon boat. Around that time, I upgraded to a spinning reel, which I received as a birthday present. Papa helped me switch the side of the reel handle so I could cast left-handed. I remember catching my first largemouth bass on the back of the pontoon boat out at Lake Gaston. I kissed the fish like I saw my embarrassing childhood idol, Jimmy Houston, do on every, t every week. 
I remember catching and learning what a yellow belly perch was near a dock owned by Papa's friend, Doug. I remember how long it took it to drive out to Gaston, and how the boat was eventually moved to Rolling View Marina on Falls Lake. We would wake up early in the morning on the weekends and drive out to the lake, looking for deer and turkeys on the way in. I remember when Papa sold the boat. He likes to say that he sold it because Drew and I turned down a trip to the lake in favor of fishing the pond in Vestavia Woods. Really, I think the hurricane was just a pain in the ass. I don't remember learning to moor a boat to the dock, or when I learned to tie a fisherman's knot, or how I learned to select the correct bait for the time of day, season, or weather. However, I do know that Papa taught me. I love fishing. It's so deeply ingrained in my memories, who I am, and who I want to be. In that sense, Papa is very much a part of me. By his example, I hope to teach Bryce and Gavin, my own children, and if I'm lucky, my grandchildren the joys of fishing. To paraphrase Papa, fishing and golfing can be extremely frustrating, so it's important to stop and look around you and enjoy the beauty of our, your surroundings and the people keeping you company. That lesson was so completely lost on a little boy, but has been more than helpful than I could ever realize when I've been growing up. Thank you so much, Papa. I love you very much. Hi, um, hi, Uncle Dick. Happy birthday. I can't believe you're already turning 80 years old. I hope you have a really, really happy birthday. But first, I don't want to kill your vibe, but I can't wait to demolish you on the golf course. Bye, I really, really love you. Hello. It's Taylor. It's me. Claire. And Lou. We're here to tell our favorite stories of Dick Hummel. Shricky Dick. Some would say. And I'll start off with mine first. I'll give Taylor a little bit more time to think. So mine starts off on the night before our wedding. We were at the rehearsal dinner, having a really great time, and everyone was having a lot to drink. Well, Dick decides to, well, steal some alcohol after the reception. Not just two bottles, but a lot of wine. And we have some pictures, but for some reason, we're not able to find them. So if you have them, please return to our property because we would love to blackmail Dick on his next birthday. Taylor, on to you. What's up? Yeah. Um, I just want to say that I love you, Papa. I think you're the man. Um, a, a fantastic role model growing up, still are, 80 years, amazing, I don't think anyone would say a bad word about you, and if they would, I'd let them have it. Um, a lot of good stories, a lot of funny times, fun instances, fantastic trips you've taken us. I think overall, just your body of work as a grandfather and father is super commendable and absolutely amazing, and I think if one day... I'm able to do what you've done for us, uh, for my grandkids and my kids. Um, I'd be really proud of myself, as uh, you should be. But uh, we love you guys. Um, big day, big eight zero. Um, hopefully, you have at least 20 to 25, 30 more years left in you. Um, but yeah, love you guys. Can't wait for the weekend. Love Bye. you. Hey, Papa. I uh, just want to say happy birthday. Um, sorry I couldn't be there for y'all's trip out there, but I'm sure everyone there is having a good time. Um, just wanted to thank you for everything over the years, uh, all the generosity you've shown me and the rest of the family. And I just want to kind of thank you for various life lessons that you've given me and a lot of things that have inspired me to change things or behaviors. Um, I've learned a lot from you, and I know a lot of family members have learned a lot from you, and I just thank you for everything, and I hope to see you soon. Happy birthday. My favorite memory with Papa is whenever I came over to his house when I was little, maybe 
five, six, seven, or eight, that he would always go into the bedroom and come out with a basket of just magic toys from the 70s or 60s, and he would always show me what each trick was and follow along with it when I did it. So he would laugh and just act amazed, and the whole family would too if anyone was over. And it wasn't important to him then, I guess, but now I think back on it, and that was just thinking about it made me so happy as a kid and just made me have confidence and self-esteem as a kid that I could help out other people when I grew up. Bryson Gavin say happy 80th birthday to our great papa. We love you so much. Give papa a smile. Come on, give papa a smile. Come on, come on, come on. We'll give you a smile later. We love you. Hi, Dick. Happy 80th. Um, so I have this little memory, a little story that... Uh, from you and uh, it was after I got married to Deidre and I believe it was the first Christmas and uh, you gave me a gift a fairly small gift and I had been staying with you guys for um, five weeks before we got married and uh, I think out of my bag a little condom fell out and you found it and you wrapped it up into a Christmas gift and you gave it to me on the first Christmas after I got married. So, after I opened that, I realized that we're gonna do just fine. Great story, great memories. Happy birthday, can't wait to party with you. Happy 80th birthday, Papa. It's hard to put into words how blessed we all are to have you in our lives. You and Grandma have been the rock of our family and created our humble clan. I've always known how lucky we are to have such a great family and you are definitely at the root of it. Quite literally, without you, none of us would be here. You have set an amazing example for all of us, showing us the importance of hard work and generosity to others, but of course balancing it out with humor, lots of fun, wine, and sexy sports cars. I have many fond memories of you that will last a lifetime. Playing Santa Claus every Christmas, weekend family cookouts at the pool, many incredible vacations, trips to Chuck E. Cheese, shopping sprees at Toys R Us, magic tricks, and possibly hidden Easter eggs, and many, many more. Kyle would like to summarize who Dick Oliver Hummel Jr. really is. Dick Hummel's been around for 80 years, or 29,219 29, days, or if you want to break it down more, 42,076,800 minutes with three beautiful daughters, eight awesome grandchildren, and two sweet great-grandchildren. He is a very accomplished man. Dick Hummel's a husband. He is a dad. He's a papa. He's a great papa and a man of God, a philanthropist, a golfer, a golf instructor, an email forwarder, a shih tzu lover, a bowler, bowler instructor, a magician, a world traveler, a musician, a lover of KJ, and last but not least, the greatest of all, bullshitter. <laughs> we love you so much and are so proud to call you our papa.